my father was a Fleet Street journalist. I was the annoying child that turned up everywhere. I mean, I was barely at school. I think I'd covered most major sports events by the age of 12, <laughs> which meant that my education was not great. And then I suddenly looked around and I thought, people get paid to do this? I know. This is incredible. I got a job in, in motorsport. I didn't start in Formula One. Um, I was doing GP2. Lewis Hamilton was just starting out at that level. You witnessed his first world championship. Yeah. And you witnessed what was almost his last. The first one was actually very surreal because I had just got the job uh, at the BBC. So they said, look, you go to Brazil. It'll be great. Go and do five live out there. The first day we got held up at gunpoint. The second day the place got flooded out. The third day I found out my father was going to be wearing a kilt and standing beside David Coulthard's car because it was DC's last Grand Prix. So I was thinking, what on earth is this job? I have no idea what I've got myself involved in. Then came the Sunday, the Grand Prix. Felipe Massa thought he'd won the championship for about 30 seconds. Yeah. Then that dream was over and then Lewis became world champion and it was just the most surreal experience ever. And then in a very similar crazy ending last year in the championship, Lewis hadn't crossed the line. He didn't think it was his. It was still a live race. And then Max Verstappen became champion. I mean, these are the days that transcend Formula One. It's global news by that yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah. 